الحمد لله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله الطاهرين وصحبه الأكرمين الله سبحانه وتعالى says in the Quran ولوطا إذ قال لقومه أتأتون فاحشة ما سبقكم بها من أحد من العالمين and it was said by Luke to his people. What did it say, my brothers? It was said, you commit such the fahisha, the vulgar, immoral acts of homosexuality, which none have never committed before in the whole entire world. And Allah continues to say, إِنَّكُمْ لَتَأْتُونَ رِجَالَ شَهْوَةً مِنْ دُونِ النِّسَاءِ بَلْ أَنْتُمْ قَوْمٌ مُسْرِفُونَ Indeed, you approach men with desire. Men approaching men with sexual desire. Instead of women, that in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made halal for you. That made a mercy for you. Rather, you are transgressing people, evil people, people that went against the Tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the people who went against the messengers of Allah. Peace be upon them. Today, my brothers, we would like to talk and elaborate. Briefly about the story of Lut alayhi salam. And I think this is a topic that needs to be addressed in order to know the history of this people and why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent this blessed messenger to these people. Now Lut alayhi salam was the nephew of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Now Ibrahim alayhi salam left with his nephew Lut to Palestine. And when he arrived in Palestine, Ibrahim alayhi salam sent his nephew to where? to a place nearby which is now known as the Dead Sea to a place called Sodom. And he, and he sent his nephew there to deliver the message of Tawheed. As we all know that the messengers of Allah, they all held the one message, Tawheed, La ilaha illallah. So Lut alayhi salam entered uh, Sadum to give his message. The unfortunate thing of this town was they were very evil people that had many evil actions. They were criminals, criminals who would rob the travelers, who would bring corruption in the land, and also Amongst these filthy things that they used to do, that these people would have sexual relationships with men in public. They would go to their clubhouses and there, in front of each other, they would commit these vulgar acts of homosexuality. Lut alayhi salam's mission was not only tawheed, but to cure them from this filthy disease. Why? As Allah mentioned, because there was no people before you, the people of Lut, that ever, ever did this action. So, my brothers, know that this action was not a human thing to do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam and Eve 
in the most purest form. And he created the both in order to continue the prodigy of mankind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never created anything in this way in which we uh, witness today. And what they witnessed in the people of Lut. And even the name Sodom is now known in the English language as Sodomy, after the town of Sodom, which is known in the English language as the vulgar act of homosexuality. So they named this town after the act that was performed in it. Now Lord alayhi salam called to his people to fear Allah Azza wa Jal, to stop this filthy vulgar act, this act, this unnatural act that Allah did not create the human fitra upon. He told them, turn to your Lord, repent to your Lord, worship your Lord alone. But they did not listen. Instead, what did they do, my brothers? They made a mockery. They made a mockery of him. They made a mockery of his message. They made a mockery of La ilaha illallah. So, Lord continued on patiently, giving his dawah. And then, what did they say? These people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned it in the Quran. And the answer of his people was not except that they said, bring us the punishment of Allah. They said, made a mockery of his message. Punish us. Bring this punishment of Allah to us. If you are truly truthful. So in despair, Lut alayhi salam, what did he do? He turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, Ya Allah, I've tried. I've tried. No one wants to listen. No one has believed in me. No one in the people of Lut alayhi salam, none of them believed in him except his daughters. His daughters were the only believers that believed in his message. So, after this, my brothers, after making a desperate dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala later on, the angels were sent, they were sent to answer this dua of Lut alayhi salam. These angels went in a man form. And if we look into the history of the angels, we find that there's many times where they've come in man form to the prophets. Maryam alayhi salam, when she got the news that she was going to have Isa alayhi salam, what happened? The angel came in a man form and told her about this. What about Musa alayhi salam at the time of death? The angel of death came in a man form. And because of this reason, he came to him and he said, Oh Musa, it is time, your time is up. I am the angel of death coming to take your soul. What did Musa do? He punched him. He punched him in the eye because he thought he, he didn't think he was an angel. He thought he was an intruder coming to his house. But later on to find out that this was one of the angels. So this is many different Times in history where the angels came in man form. So the angels, they approached Ibrahim alayhi salam. And he said, we are travelers. Please help us. We need a place to rest. So Ibrahim alayhi salam didn't know at first these were angels. And... He took them into, their house, into his house, slaughtered them a cow, and bring it forth. As a good you know, person that has guests, hospitable person. 
The angels did not eat. And they did not reply. Now, when Ibrahim saw that they didn't want to eat or reply, he was very nervous. Very nervous about these people. Why aren't my guests eating? Aren't they tired and hungry from travel? The angels saw the doubtfulness in his face and said, Verily, we are the messengers of Allah. Meaning that we are the angels of Allah. In the Quran, used messengers, meaning we are the angels. We are the angels of Allah and we are sent to go and destroy the people of Lut. Now, upon hearing this, Abraham السلام, was worried. He was worried for his nephew. He was worried that his nephew will be destroyed amongst these things, these people. So he said, how many believers are there amongst the Lord? He said, 300? He goes, no. He said, 100? He said, no. He said, 40? He said, no. He said, 12? He said, not even 12. He said, there is only Lord and his family, his daughters. So Abraham said, then what will happen to Lord? He said, don't worry, we are aware of Allah's affairs. We are going to destroy the evil people of Lut. And subhanAllah, when this was happening, my brothers, Sarah, Ibrahim's wife in the background, was laughing. She was laughing. Why? Because of the enjoyment that the people of evil are going to be punished. Sometimes when we think about this, we say, we laugh because we're happy our football team won or something enjoyable. No. The prophets of Allah enjoyed when evil was going to be destroyed. This was their ways. This was their enjoyment. So also, they said, we've also come to give you the message that we are going to give you two sons. Ismail was Haq. So he gave them the glad tidings and continued on to the town of Lut in Sadum. Upon arriving in Sadum, they noticed they came across one of the daughters of Lut and said, we are travelers. Out of the fear of these travelers falling into the evil of the town, she said, wait, I will call my father. She ran home and said, father, there's three beautiful men. She described their beauty. Because the angels, they always came, when they came in man form, they came in a beautiful form. If we remember the hadith of Jibreel alayhi salam, when he came as a human to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi the companions to learn about Islam, they said he had very black hair and a very white thobe, like abay, like this. And this is how they described them. In a beautiful way. So out of fear, she said, there's three beautiful men that have come, travelers. Come and see what they want. So Lut, he went, ran out of fear that these people were going to fall into the fitna. He said to them, I, I plead you, let's find another town other than this one. This is a very evil town. And we should not come here. They did not answer. And he kept on replying the same thing. They did not answer. So Lut, alayhi salam, snuck them quietly back to his home. When he went back to his home, his evil wife, Lut, saw these people and snuck out to tell them. Wolf's, Lut's wife, unfortunately, was one of the women that weren't believers. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, what did he say in the Quran? Allahu mathalan lil ladina kathar wa imra'ata nuhin wa imra'ata lut. 
كانتا تحت عبدين من عبادنا الصالحين فخانتاهما فلم يغني عنهما من الله شيئا وقيل دخل النار مع الداخلين Allah said about Lord's wife and Nuh's wife. What did he say? Allah set forth an example for those who disbelieved. The wives of Nuh and the wives of Lord. They were under the two righteous slaves of Allah, but they both, both betrayed their husbands. In what? In the belief in which they came with. La ilaha illallah. So they... Nuh and Lut benefited them and not against Allah. And it was said, enter the fire along those who entered. So, unfortunately, she was not from amongst the believers. So she went and informed the people of Lut. And what happened? They came raging to the house of Lut, wanting to come in. And Lut alayhi salam pledged them and asked them, O oh people, fear Allah. The people of your town, the women of your town are halal to marry. What do you want from my guests? They said, Lut, didn't we not allow you to, to take people away from us and to have visitors? SubhanAllah. They made a law against him to not have visitors and not to obtain people from them so they can commit their filthy acts of homosexuality. So Lord continued to plead with them and nothing happened and the pressure was on. And he turned to Allah and he said, Ya Allah, if I only had someone to turn to, I don't have a tribe, I don't have sons. So his guests, who were the angels, they heard this. They said, O oh Lord, we are angels and we are here to destroy your people. Then the angels, they said, Lord, you must at nightfall leave you and your daughters, but leave your wife behind, as we mentioned in the ayah. Leave your wife behind because she is involved with the punishment. Because of her filthy disbelief in Allah's message and her husband's message. So Allah entered her with the punishment of the people of Lut. So he said, don't worry Lut, morning time, we will punish these people. So Lut fled with his daughters out of Sodom. The morning came and the scream of terror as the punishment arrived. The angel swooped all of the people of Lut with his wings, including the wife of Lut, and flipped them in the air and then smashed them on the ground. And then Allah rained upon them stones, each stone with with what, my brothers? With their names attached to it. Destroying them. Wiping them out. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala poured upon them heavy rain. This heavy rain then became sea. And this place now is known as what, my brothers? The Dead Sea. The Dead Sea in which people go and bathe in and take photos in and think that this is really good for your body. It is a cursed place. It is a place where the most filthiest people ever lived that Allah destroyed and covered it with, with water. And we have people making it out as it's some sort of tourist attraction. We should hate it for the sake of Allah. My dear respected brothers, the reason why I wanted to talk about this today is to make awareness of what is going on around the world and in this country. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not create Adam and Eve in this way. The fitrah of a human being is how Allah created him, Adam, and with his spouse Eve. And this is why we have the same thing going on and on because this is Allah's sunnah.
This is the fitrah of the people. This is not the way what Allah wants a person to be is homosexuality and this is the reason why he sent Lut alayhi salam to warn the people to repent to Allah azza wa jal and to follow his way, the way of the fitrah, the way of la ilaha illallah. I'm sure all of us here, if we are ponder, we all came from a mother and father. We didn't come from two fathers. We didn't come from two mothers. You cannot have a baby this way. So the message is clear, my brothers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us for this way. And this way is not going to be acceptable no matter who says it. And no matter what people claim or no matter how they prove it through science or whatever. The truth is the truth, my brothers. And the Anbiya only came for with truth because they are only verily from Allah Azza wa Jalla.